It is Wednesday, March 18th, and we are here to brief you on today's workout. So it goes like this. We're gonna do two components again today. Strength work in the abdominals again, followed by a really fun anaerobic conditioning piece um, here at the, uh, to, to finish things off. So here we go, the strength work. You're gonna cycle through five rounds of 30 seconds at each movement of a hollow rock, a side plank on the left, side plank on the right, and then a, plank, a traditional plank hold. And we want you to rest one minute in between those rounds, okay? After that's done, then you're gonna do as many rounds as possible in four minutes times five rounds of 10 jumping lunge steps and 10 dumbbell push press. We've built in the rest. We want you to rest one minute in between each one of those AM wraps so that that way we're promoting more intensity as you guys reach that two minute mark of each interval rather than having you guys not rest and going slower in that second two minutes. We want you to be going faster, which is why we put that rest in there, okay? Pick up where you left off, keep track of your total rounds and reps. Here we go, the hollow rock. So on this, we want you to squeeze the quads, point the toes, and you should be balancing on your low back muscles here. If you're not balancing on your low back muscles, that's okay, but we want you reaching for that as much as possible. So the shoulders come up, the legs come up, we want the quads tight, we want the belly engaged, and that's how you should be holding this thing. Okay, now from here, in order to rock, you have to be balancing on your low back the whole time. And you're gonna count each one of these rocks as one repetition. Let's show you how to scale it. Okay, the first, uh, in the most basic way, it's most inclusive, just doing a leg raise. Put your hands underneath your butt if you need to. Lift your legs off the ground slightly and just try to hold this position for 30 seconds, is what I'd recommend. Okay, go ahead and uh, uh, come on up to the side plank. So the side plank, we're gonna come up on an elbow here, and then from here, we're just keeping the abdominals braced, keeping the quads tight, keeping the butt tight, and trying to balance as much as we can. We'll do that on the left side and the right side, and then go right into your traditional plank hold, which can be performed out of your elbows if you like. If you wanna target your shoulders a little bit more, create a little bit more pump in through your triceps, then come up to your hands. Okay, this is also a great way to develop just general isol uh, isolation strength in the shoulders for things like handstand walks, etc. Okay? Uh, after you're done with that, then you obviously you go into our conditioning piece. The jumping lunge step looks like this. Okay, the back knee's gonna kiss the ground, not slam into the ground. And we're gonna jump, which means we're gonna scissor. If you can't scissor, then just do a traditional lunge step. Step out, or I'm sorry, a, a reverse lunge step. So you're gonna step back, back knee kisses the ground, and then step forward. Okay? And then for our push press, if you have access to a set of dumbbells, great. If not, come into the gym, or we'll show you guys how you can modify around this here in just a sec. From here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna dip, and we're gonna drive the dumbbells overhead. Okay, when we dip, keep your torso vertical, the knees should shoot forward, and then once we press the dumbbells out, keep your abdominals engaged, your quadriceps tight, your glutes engaged, looking straight ahead, we're gonna finish with the arms locked out over center mass of your torso. All right, guys, that is our workout. Those are our movements. Oh, before I go, let me show you how to do this thing without dumbbells. It's just a traditional push-up. All that you gotta do on this is thigh stomach and chest shall touch. You have to do these push-ups out of your knees. That's great. You can do them that way as well. So, if you don't have access to dumbbells, now you can do this thing with just your body weight. Thanks, guys. Enjoy it. It's a fun one.